Hey everybody, this is the Mass Retirees Weekly Update for Friday, November 19th. I'm Sean Duhamel. Thank you so much for joining with us and tuning in again this week. Now, this afternoon, we have a really important members-only Teletown Hall event taking place. The whole focus of today's event is on retiree health insurance and specifically the upcoming um, bidding process that's going to take place in 2022 for all of the health insurance plans that are offered by the GIC as well as the two pharmaceutical plans that are offered by the GIC. This is going to be super important. If you've been following along and, and watching these weekly updates or reading our newsletter The Voice, you know that the current plans offered by the GIC they all expire come June 30th of 2023. So a little bit less than a year and a half from now. What that means is that the GIC is gonna go through their request for proposal or RFR or whatever they call it now. You know, the verbiage always changes, but I always say RFP, but I believe it's now RFR. They're going through the contracting process next year. And leading up to that is very important that as an organization, we're putting forth our two cents about what our members want and advocating on your behalf and making sure that at the end of the day that the GIC continues to offer the highest quality and most affordable health care plans that are possible. At the same time, we believe it's equally as important for you to have a direct voice in this process and to your voice for your voice to be heard. Now, thankfully, we have leadership at the GIC and a team of, of folks at the GIC who feel the same way as, as we do, that they want your input, they want to listen to you, they want to interact with you leading up to their decision-making process kicking off next spring. So that's the focus of today's event. We are thrilled to be joined once again uh, by the GIC's Executive Director, Matt Vino. Matt has now been on the job for a little bit over a year and a half. Um, he has, from the day he got the job, he's been very open with our association, very transparent, and really trying to work with us hand in hand to understand the wants and the needs and the thoughts of our members. So if you are available today, whether or not you're insured by, through the GIC, uh, this meeting is really designed for you. If you have a question, you have a comment, you can certainly ask that during the meeting. I want to thank those of you who responded to last week's message and last week's email by sending in your thoughts and your feelings and calling us directly. We have a whole bunch of questions that have already come in. Um, a lot of them are along the same lines. Retirees are very happy with your insurance coverage, whether it's through the GIC or through one of the cities and towns and whether you're on the Unicare plan or you're on Blue Cross or Harvard Pilgrim or Tufts, um, Health New England. People are very satisfied and happy with their coverage here in Massachusetts by and large. Yes, it's expensive and those costs are a huge concern. The number one complaint we hear from members is about the cost of your insurance and usually it's related to the out-of-pocket costs, the co-payments, the deductibles and so forth. But people are happy with the access that you have to some of the best doctors and hospitals on the planet. We want to make sure that we maintain that. So again, if you're available today, one o'clock this afternoon, there are two ways that you can participate in the meeting. One is by calling the toll-free number that's published in the newsletter, is published in today's email message. This is a members-only event, so we do not publish um, this information online or through our Facebook page and through this video. If you are a member, you will have received the toll-free number for you to participate. The other way that you can participate, again, if you are a member, and if we have your telephone number on file, at one o'clock this afternoon, when the meeting gets underway, you will receive an automated phone call from me. All you need to do is answer the phone, stay on the line, and you're gonna be automatically connected to the meeting. Um, it's as simple as that. We try to make this super easy, very straightforward. Um, these Teletown Hall events have been a fantastic supplement. Um, that we've really relied upon and utilized throughout the course of the pandemic. As Frank and I continue to say, we can't wait to be able to meet with you again in person. Um, but it's also provided us the ability to bring people like Matt Vino to you and have this ongoing engagement and interaction, which is super important. Before I sign off today, I also want to talk about another healthcare topic that is extremely important that just came up a week ago today 
The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid announced last Friday the new um, Medicare Part B premiums that take effect this coming January. And it was shocking to all of us that they announced on Friday night that the Medicare Part B premium is gonna jump in cost 14.5% come January. Now, if this takes effect, it will represent the largest dollar increase in the 56 year history of Medicare. So this is not insignificant. Adding to the problem is the fact that as all of us are living through right now, we are seeing some relatively severe impacts in terms of inflation that have resulted from the pandemic and the supply chain problems that are really a global problem. None of this is specific or, or isolated to what's going on here in the United States. These are global problems and we're all feeling the squeeze. So whether or not you're going to the grocery store to buy groceries, you're buying household goods, you're filling up at the gas pump, all of us are feeling um, the price increases and the pressures from inflation. And that is particularly important for retirees who are living on a fixed income. So the thought that we may be looking at a 14.5% increase in Medicare Part B premiums on top of everything else is outrageous and it's unsustainable. So what we have done and what we did do this past Monday morning is immediately contacted the Massachusetts congressional delegation. We have had direct conversations um, with the off office of Congresswoman Catherine Clark, as well as Congressman Richard Neal. Congresswoman Clark, of course, is the assistant speaker of the house and Richie Neal is the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. Both of these individuals are members, high ranking members of the House leadership team. And we have been assured that they are looking very closely at what Congress can do to respond to this crisis and hopefully avert the need to increase Medicare premiums anywhere near 14 and a half percent. Now, it's still a little bit early to know exactly what might take place, but I'm hopefully optimistic that Congress is going to come through with some type of relief for retirees. I can't see a scenario where they're gonna allow over 61 million American seniors um, to face that type of a, a dollar increase come this January. Something has to be done. Again, we're very hopeful here that something will be done and we'll be reporting back to you just as soon as we have some more information. But if you've been following this issue at all, there are really three drivers as to why these, these premium hikes are even being proposed in the first place. First and foremost, COVID-19. There is no escaping the fact that over the past year, um, the number of COVID cases, particularly the impact on our seniors has been very expensive and Medicare is responding to those costs. That's understandable. However, there are other two other main factors here as to why this proposal <coughs> is so costly. The, the main factor appears to be the fact that a year ago when Congress um, paid or appropriated extra money to help stabilize and lower Medicare costs for seniors, it included a provision that beginning in 2022, so next year, that money would have to be repaid to the federal government. <clears throat> and it would be repaid coming out of senior citizens' pockets. Um, this was a bad idea from go. It's something that Congress should look at either repealing or lessening the blow of or delaying it. Um, but at the very least, they cannot allow that to take place in 2022 as previously planned. And the third main factor here as to why Medicare is proposing such a large rate increase is the, the planning that's going into uh, the recently approved um, Alzheimer's medication that's been created by Biogen. Back in June, the FDA approved um, this new medication, new drug <clears throat> to treat Alzheimer's. That drug is now <clears throat> under the review of, of Medicare, and I believe it's anticipated that sometime in the coming months it will be approved um, for prescription under Medicare. Since this medication is administered intravenously in a doctor's office, it is covered and paid for directly by Medicare. So they need to build those costs into their planning and into their budget for the coming year. Now the price per person is $56,000 per person per year for this medication. So it's very, very expensive. And that's part, partly what's going into, <coughs> excuse me, the planning here. I get a frog in my throat as I'm talking about medications. So all of these factors together are what's driving 
these severe cost increases, but we believe that Congress can and should respond to lower those costs for seniors. They can't possibly allow this to take effect. Uh, but it really just reinforces to us just how important healthcare policy is, how complicated the system is, how expensive it is, and why more work needs to be done to lower these costs for all seniors, not just retired public employees, but everyone across the country. Um, these costs continuing to rise are just unsustainable. So with that, thank you once again for tuning in to this message. If you're available this afternoon at one o'clock, please uh, tune in and participate in today's Teletown Hall event. The topic is very timely, very, very important, and we'll be talking to you again very soon. Thank you so much.